Hi, hello, welcome to Enjoy Learning Computer Science. Push yourself. No one else is going to do for you. This is a very lovely quote. Always try to push yourself. Do your job by yourself. Don't expect anyone to push you. Okay. In our previous video, we have discussed about how to write data in a binary file, how to read the content of the binary file and how to add, how to append more records in a binary file. In this video, we are going to learn about exception handling, how to handle the errors using try and accept method. If you have not subscribed to my YouTube channel, please subscribe and press the bell icon to get the notifications of my upcoming videos. Let's learn about exception handling. Come on. Exception handling. Exception handling is handling the errors. How to handle the errors. For that, let's learn about the errors. Errors or mistakes. So, what are the types of errors? First one is compile time error. That means the errors that occur during compile time like syntax error or semantics error. Syntax error occurs when rules of a programming language are misused. That is, when a grammatical rule of Python is not followed, it is violated. So, that is syntax error. Semantics error occurs when the statements are not meaningful. Let me tell you with an example. Donnie plays cricket. This statement is syntactically correct, semantically also correct. But if I say cricket plays Donny, syntactically correct. Does it make sense? No, semantically it is wrong. So this type of error is known as semantics error. So syntax error and semantics error comes under compile time error. The next one is runtime error. The errors that occur during the execution of the program and these types of errors are very hard to detect sometimes it stop the execution of the program the next error is logical error sometimes if you don't encounter any errors you will not get compile time error you will not get runtime error but even though you will not the correct output so what is the problem this is because of the programmers mistake logic mistake so such errors are known as logical errors now what is exception an exception is also an error that occurs during the execution of the program whenever there is an error python will generate an ex exception that exception can be handled okay so when there is an error python generates an exception that could be handled are you all confused with error and exception? No worries. Let's learn the differences between the error and exception so you will be clear now. Error represents any bug in the code, any mistake in the code that disrupts the running of the program or it will give you some improper output. Okay, that is known as error. Exception refers to any irregular situation, unexpected situation which occurs during the execution of the program, which occurs during the runtime. We don't have any control on it. We can't do anything about it. Okay. Now, errors in a program can be fixed. How will you fix the error? By making corrections in the code. But fixing exceptions is not that simple. I will tell you an example. Suppose if you are going to an ATM center to withdraw money and if you are entering wrong PIN number, that is an error. You can correct it. You can retype the PIN number, right? But when you are trying to take money and the message is not that much amount in the account, it is an exception that we cannot do the correction immediately. It is hard to fix, right? So that is the difference between error and exception. We are going to learn about exception handling. Exception handling. 
what is exception handling handling the errors which occurs during the execution of the program while you are running a program is known as exception handling many types of error occurs while you are executing a program like end of file error input output error index error type error zero division error value error name error key error and so on these types of errors are handled in python using try and accept block try and accept methods are used in binary files in python to handle all the exceptions here we have two clauses called try and accept under the try block you have to write the statements which can generate exceptions that means you have to write the statements which has to be executed and when you execute that statements it may generate an error so those types of statements you have to write it under try block it's the statements which can generate exceptions under accept clause you have to write the code for handling exception so if an error occurs what has to be done what how to handle that error whether you want to come out of the loop or you have to close so that those statements you have to write it under accept block let me demonstrate try and accept block with a very simple program program to divide two numbers so when you divide two numbers if the second number is zero an error will be raised right how to handle that error we are going to see open python so first to divide two numbers we need two numbers as input let's receive the get the input from the user itself so a is equal to it is an integer so a is equal to int of input of enter the first number similarly the next number b is equal to int of input of enter the second number so after receiving these two numbers as input we have to divide these two numbers right so let's divide a by b and store it in a variable so i'm giving c is equal to a slash b slash is the division operator so then print c let's save this program control s give any name for the program and then execute f5 you can see enter the first number 78 enter the second number 4 you are getting the output no problem again let's execute the program now let's give the first number as 67 and the second number as 0 a python raises an error stating division by 0 zero division error so this is an exception python raised an error how to handle this error let's use try and accept clause under try clause the statements which are generating an exception should be written so which statements uh, generated an error when you divide two numbers and you are trying to print when the second number is 0 it raised an error so c is equal to a slash b print c here only error came so those statements should you have to write under try except what error it it was a python raised n 0 division error so you have to write except 0 division error suppose if you don't know the name of the error you can simply write except exception so that will handle any type of errors so except zero division error so when this error occurs what you have to do let's print a statement print oops cannot divide a number by zero so when this program is executed what happens even though a user tries to divide a number by zero it will not raise an error instead the program will be executed properly but it will give a, a statement to the user stating you cannot divide a number by zero execution doesn't stops now you can see the output enter the first number 78 second number is 0 it is just simply displaying a message oops cannot divide a number by zero instead of raising an exception this is how you have to handle exceptions Now let's write a program to write a structure dictionary in a binary file. For that first let's learn how to create dictionary. Open Python IDE. Let's create a dictionary called d is equal to start the curly bracket. Dictionaries will have 
pair of values key colon value pair so key is roll number colon the value of the roll number is 101 comma the next pair name colon mina here name is the key and mina is the value the next one mark colon the value of the mark is 90 so mark is the key and 90 is the value now let's access the keys and values of this dictionary d dot keys it displays all the keys roll number name mark and d d is the name of the dictionary d dot values will display the values of the dictionary 101 mina 90 now let's write a program to write a dictionary in a binary file first import pickle module import pickle let's create a user defined function def b write what is b write binary write you can give any name for your function definition and then let's open the binary file f is equal to open d file i'm giving the name of the binary file is d file dot dat comma the mode is write wb and then let's create an empty dictionary d is equal to empty curly brackets while true now let's add the key value pairs inside the dictionary so first i'm I'm going to receive the values from the user that is roll number name and marks from the user let's receive using input statement roll number is integer data type so int of input of enter the roll number the value which is entered by the user will be stored in the variable rno similarly name name is a string so no need for intent all so input of enter the name so the a user enters a name that will be stored in the variable called name and then mark mark can be integer or float let's give it as integer int of input of enter the mark so if i'm entering 90 that 90 will be stored in the variable mark so now we have created all the values of the dictionary now we have to create the keys of the dictionary so what is the name of the dictionary d within square bracket the keys roll n o is the first key the value of this key is r n o we have received it from the user you can write that variable similarly d within square bracket the key is name capital n a m e and the value of that is name with smaller case and then d within square bracket the next key is mark equal to we have assigned that uh, in a variable called mark on b so now the dictionary is created we have to write this dictionary in the binary file so how will you write dumb function pickle dot dump what we have to write we have to write the dictionary d in the binary file d file dot dat which is referred by the file object f so d comma f you have written the file so suppose if you want to add more dictionary enter the choice from the user itself so ch is equal to input do you want to enter more records and i'm giving two options y for s and n for no if the user press y the loop will be continued if the user press no you have to stop the loop so let's check this if ch equal to n or you can give if ch in capital n or small n if the users press both will be accepted whether it is uppercase or lowercase you have to stop the loop so let's give it as break okay now the loop will be executed till the user enters capital n or small n now let's close the file f dot close after closing let's call the function b write save the program control is execute f5 you can see it is asking the input so you can give any input for the roll number uh, name and marks you can give any input so let's give roll number as one enter the name mina enter the mark 90 do you want to enter more records it is asking let's give it as y s then enter the roll number to enter the name ram enter the mark 85 okay again it is asking the choice from the user again if we give y 
the loop is continuing once more so now you give the value of roll number name and mark now let's uh, again it will ask the choice do you want to enter more records it is given as n no so the loop stops here execution stops here now open the binary file d file dot dat and see whether it the content is written in the binary file yes everything is written in the binary file but it is in binary language computer language that we can't understand so create a dictionary write it using dumb function let's write a program to read the content of the binary file which we have created so we are opening the same program we are going to write a user defined function to read the content so def b read binary read is the name of the user defined function you have to open the file so we have to open the same file which we have uh, used in our binary write so f is equal to open d file dot dat comma and we have to open it in write uh, sorry read mode rb mode because we are going to read the content of the binary file now print uh, before displaying the uh, output i want a title content of the binary file so i am giving print content of the binary file and then we have to read load so pickle dot load what we are going to load the content from the file which is f file object and assign this to a variable so d is equal to pickle dot load of f print d okay so now we have to call this function right so uh, let's close the file also f dot close after that let's call the user defined function b r e a d is the user defined function i don't want to execute b right now because already we have executed that so i'm just giving b read we are going to read only the content of the file so you can see the content of the binary file roll number 1 name meena mark Uh, is also displayed only one record is displayed the other records were not displayed it didn't read till the end of the file so now let's uh, use try and except block to handle this error to handle this exception so try while true i'm reading the content d dot pickle dot load of f and then print d i'm giving then we can in the except block okay in the except block we have to uh, uh, what error occurred end of file error because it didn't read the content till the end of the file so end of file error except end of file error when end of file error occurs i want to stop i want to close the program i am giving f dot close there is an error what error yes this except clause has to be given outside the while loop so it should be straight with try so move this um, except straight to try so try except end of error now execute the program now you can see it is reading all the record from the file d file dot dat we have handled this exception using try and except method in the next video we are going to learn the seek and tell functions in binary file these functions are very important and useful in binary files so what is seek function what is tell function and how to use these functions in binary files a we have successfully learned how to handle the exception using try and except method wasn't it very interesting today yes enjoy learning computer science don't forget to subscribe to my channel enjoy learning computer science for further updates stay tuned stay blessed stay at home stay healthy keep watching my channel take care bye bye